Hi, this is Bob. <laughs> and Tompa. From Better Music. And we're here today to have a first look at the brand spanking new Line 6 HX Stomp. So basically, uh, Line 6 have done what, I don't know, some of the Helix users want. Smaller package, so you've got all the high def Helix HX effects and HX amp model sounds in a smaller package. And the M effect as well, so yeah. the M M9 and all, everything's in here. Look at the, the size of it, like, put it into, into perspective, the size of it, it's, if you're familiar with like Bogner pedals or any of that sort of thing, it's not much bigger than a, than a, a dual pedal. So it's, the fact that they've got everything in there, it's just ridiculous. The connectivity is, is what's blowing me away with it. Four cable, you can use four cable method, there's yep. MIDI out, there's, uh, stereo in, oh, sorry, stereo out. There's USB out. There's yeah, it. <laughs> they've ticked every box. It's it's surprising how many like different applications this small box can um, integrate into your live rig. Um, so you can it can take um, center stage as just an all out effects unit that you can run straight into something like a flat response like the power cab, or you can run into a power amp or and. A standard guitar cabinet. Or direct into a PA, like if you're traveling a lot, this is yeah. like the, the one thing with the, with the big multi effects, whether it's um, a Helix, whether it's a, a, like a camper or whatever, they take up a fair bit of space. They're, they're quite big and quite yeah. bulky. This, like, it, it's so small. Like, that's, there's a Jazz 3 pick. That's probably the best thing I can give you for perspective. It, it's not, it, it's so small. Everything's in here. There's even a control that if you do have, um, like an expression pedal or, or, or whatever, you can actually add more to it if you want as well, which is something I wanted to, to add uh, to talk about because there will be times where you need to, you know, like an expression pedal, like for a delay or, you know, you want to swell something in or a volume boost. Some people use that uh, as a solo boost or whatever. You can actually do that with this as well. So they've, they've pretty much thought of everything, Topper. I, yeah. I cannot think of one thing that this this won't do. And and even if, if you have a Helix already and you want a backup, um, <laughs> it, it fits in the pocket of the Helix bag so that you can, or you can have <laughs> yeah. both of them running at the same time. You're yeah. like, oh, I've run out of DSPs. Yeah. I'll just put another yeah. <laughs> another six delays in the loop. and Just take both, <laughs> take both rigs along to the gig and say, you know what? I couldn't be bothered setting up the big Helix. I'm just going to take my little one. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it, one, another thing that I will mention is that the uh, the buttons can be assigned to do whatever you want. So they can be um, a bank up and down. They can be a momentary a latching switch. They can they can pretty much do anything yeah. anything you assign it to do. Um, we 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 touched on um, uh, the the bigger Helix. So when the bigger Helix was introduced, it um it, it, it kind of I feel it kind of leveled the, the playing field a little bit because the, the, the other companies that I mentioned before, like Kemper and, and, and Axe Effects, kind of had the lion's share of the market. When the Helix came in, it, it really sort of leveled that playing field out and made this sort of gear more accessible to people. Yeah. And the, the interface is still by far the easiest interface to get around of all of the, the bigger brands that have done this. It is the easiest to deal with, in my opinion. Um, what they've done with this is it's it, all of that technology has trickled down now. All of all of the, the connectivity, the functionality, the sounds, everything has yeah. trickled down from the original into the LT and in, yeah. and most recently into the HX FX. Uh, that HX FX is outrageous, by the way. But now you've got this little like it, it's literally the size of two pedals, like two regular like Boss or MXR pedals. It is just awesome, and everything's in there. I, I I'm blown away. Yeah. And and the, the way that they've got the HX effects, um, HX um, amp models and all that kind of stuff. you still got exactly the same quality that you got in the Helix, but it's just in a small package. They haven't downsampled them or lower kilohertz or bit rates yep. and stuff like that. Still, everything's um, high quality. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take through a couple of um a couple of sort of tone examples and give you a quick look at the interface as well. I think it's probably a really good thing to do. Ultimately, we, you know, there's going to be a ton of videos on this and, and, and you know, big, in, you know, um, comprehensive overviews and things. We just, like, we, we've literally had this thing for about, what, 10 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes, and we can already get around it. It's, it's that simple to use. So we're just going to show you, like, real world application, how it, how it can work for you. So we're going to take you through a couple of playing examples now. Um, Tom is just going to twiddle and fiddle and do what he does. I'm just going to play. So we, what we're going to do is take you through the functionality and, and what the buttons can do, how you can assign them, those sort of things. So, so um, just like the Helix or the HX effects and stuff like that, um, these buttons can be changed to um, basically kind of three different modes. So basically it can be preset mode, or actually four. Preset mode, so you can have four, uh, three different presets. It can be a bank up 
and down so you can just have it scrolling through your presets. Um, it can be st stomp box mode. Stomp box mode. Stomp box mode. <laughs> stomp box mode. Yeah. Um, so basically you can turn individual pedals on and off. You can assign multiple different pedals to each of those buttons or it can be in snapshot mode which is basically you can have all the dials on one way and it's basically like taking a photo and then um, you can press a button and it'll, all the knobs will be the other way. So basically, it can have all the same pedals and things, but they can be changed instantaneously and yep. it, there's no latency because it's all in one preset. So yeah, that, that's really cool with with like delays and things. Like if you have yeah. a, a particular, like I'm, I'm very lazy when it comes to delays, so like a, a set and forget kind of sound, but you know, you need a more elaborate sound for like, you know, you're playing Streets With No Name or something like yeah. that, you're playing covers and you need that really elaborate delay. You can yeah. set it and snapshot it yeah and then go back to your regular sound yeah and just to. yeah and even like in certain songs there's there'll be like a chorus that'll be a different delay time to the yep. verse and you can just instantly do that yeah so that, that sort of functionality you were talking about real world functionality um, and how it, how it can work for you yeah so. and also the hx stomp has a, a external expression out as well so you can have another two pedals that can be uh, like buttons that can be connected so, so you can have more functionality more taps more so, so five buttons or you can actually have two different expression pedals that can yep. control um, delay times and all that kind of stuff. Swap or be volume a volume for yep. solos, you know, yeah. Is there a wire function, Tom? It certainly is. All right, that's Tom from Yamaha, by the way. Um, yeah, so um, so there is a wire function, so you can actually set it up, so you don't even need to take your big old wow. cry baby or whatever with you. You can no. actually just take a nice, cotton, you, man, we were just joking <laughs> before about how this, and like a mini wire would fit on like one of the little pedal train nano boards. It's yeah. like, there's, there's my rig, guys. Where do I plug in? That's awesome. Okay, so we'll take you through a couple of sounds now. So this is this is like the, I guess, the Jeff Beck sort of sound. It, it, it sounds really cool. I, I love it. Just really creamy, really nice. Sound. Just beautiful, but in the B-roll, you'll see that there's um, the, uh, uh, effects assigned to each of the, the buttons here. So there's an overdrive and a, 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 a tape echo sort of thing here. So we're taking it off, it becomes quite quite dry. We bring the overdrive in, and then. Very, very cool. Yep. Awesome. All right, pick another one, Tom. All right. I'm not looking. Let's have a look. Um, let's, let's go this one. All right. <laughs> sound so it's like got a pitch what have we got and a ping pong so delay reverb um we've got a a placa cat placata placata which is <laughs> which is a friedman um model so it's a b e o d yep um what else have we got a dual pitch a phaser and a compressor so it's, it's, so it's crazy how many things you can fit in that six box. Yeah, how, how, yeah, exactly right. So it becomes. Yeah, it's like even that response, like it's, it's that 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 that. Under the fingers, it feels really good. Like it feels like a regular amp, you know. Yeah. There's, there's a, the immediacy of yeah. it. Yeah, love it. Yeah. All right, let's find a clean sound, Tompa. All right. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, here we go. So, <laughs> so th this is a Mesa Lone Star. 
Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> with, a, with some sort of drive on it now. That's nice, that's nice. So you got tap tempo function. <laughs> function. So smooth. So what's on there, Topper? So in this patch we have volume pedal, um, a Lone Star, a bucket brigade delay and a room reverb. So very smooth. Yeah. I like that. Let's see what else we can find. Um, Let's go jazz chorus. Oh, I did jazz. <laughs> I know jazz, man. <laughs> Ooh. It's, it's, it's got this like a spacey. Like yeah, a, a J, mm. it's a JC. Uh, JC 120, basically. So what you a got, sound. You've got the chorus. I still think it's the most iconic clean sound ever. Yeah. Everyone will say Fender Twin, give me a JC any day. Oh, so much cl like it's just it's just the clarity and stuff yeah. like that. But then it's like it's not harsh, it's just Yeah. Like, but if you listen to that, like that It's all there, isn't it? Yeah. And just that seventies and eighties chorus just rich, lush. Lush. That's, lush. That's our word for the day, uh, lush. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, cool. Ah. I'm gonna get hammered online for not playing jazz through a jazz chorus. I got it when I did the one video, a previous video. <laughs> <coughs> he didn't even play jazz through. Oh, I can play I'm not jazz. A jazz through. <laughs> uh, AC30. So th yeah, the next one yeah. we got is a AC30. <coughs> Very drivey, but just like but it's a got it's, it's got that honk that you expect from oh, an AC. It's definitely. got a little bit of that 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 that, that boxiness that you yeah. that I love out of out of the yeah. box. That's yeah. cool. Okay, well, one more. I reckon. Right. Let's do one more. Let's go metal. Metal. Let's find oh, a metal one. Okay. To appease the metal guys, hang a nineteen. <laughs> do you want a gent? That's the one next do you want a gent day. one? I can't gent. I'm too old to gent. <laughs> Pop punk. Closer. Hang oh, a nine Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the one across the road from Dave. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Yeah. Cool. 
So yeah, in that one, we've just got like a reverb, um, an EQ, uh, Bogner Ubershaw basically, and then like a 412 cab and a tube screamer. That's right, we didn't actually mention that. For those of you that, that, um, that don't understand, this is your first experience with any sort of Helix, um, Helix sort of effects thing. Um, this actually has amps and cab sims in there. So, so what we're talking about with Bogner, Ubershaws and things, they've, they've got that amp emulation. So you can actually dial in a sound through like your more traditional amps like Marshalls and, yeah. and, and you know, Mesa Boogies and Orange and Vox and all of these other amps and you can match cabs to them as well. So, so that means that you, you know, the, the, almost gone are the days of, of taking these big amps around, yeah. these big old dinosaur amps. You, you don't even need to take an amp like that. We're just using this for basically a fallback so we can hear it in the room. Yeah. But you can plug this straight into your computer, into your audio interface, and even it's if you an, don't... It's an interface itself. Exactly. Ah, yeah. ah. It's an interface itself, so you can go from there direct in. If you've got just a really basic, you know, primitive sort of setup, something like just Garage Band or something, straight out of that in, and you've got all of that guitar sound, all of those amps, affects everything there. Yeah, at high quality bit rates, and yeah. You're all about the bit <laughs> the rates. The bit rates. <laughs> well, it's, it's, Damn it's bits. Well, they're, they're just not. They're not making it like the sounds degraded than the full on helix. So that's exactly they've right. They've got everything exactly the same as you have in the big one, but it's just smaller. It's just That's that's so right. And that, that's something that uh, again other companies have been um, uh, uh, have been known to do is to when they when they make a smaller version of their, their their big one, their flagship, they will often take a little bit of the the, the quality or the functionality out of it. Yeah. But I think this is going to set a, um, a a new sort of benchmark in that no, not anymore. No. <laughs> they've no. they've taken a stand. The little guys have taken a stand. It's like, no, <laughs> enough is, is enough. <laughs> enough is enough. We want to be counted too. <laughs> and that's it. So so you wait. Everyone else will jump on board now. I guarantee they will all jump on board now. All right. So there you have it. Our first look at the Line 6 HX Stomp from our friends at Line 6 and Yamaha Australia. Um, first impressions, Tompa? Oh, I'm getting one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting one. Because you got the backpack, it's going to fit perfectly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like, uh, for some reason, just stuff that's smaller, just... It's, it's just, appealing to yeah, you? Yeah, just, yep. yeah. Yeah, I, th I think, yeah, as we were joking about it before, but you know, the, the days of lugging big amps and stuff, I think are, are, are numbered. Yeah. As much as it pains me to say it with my collection of amps, it pains me to say it, but you know, these sort of things are just so much more convenient now. And you know, I, I make the comparison to customers where, you know, originally when I, you know, I can remember reading all of the hype about you know these digital amp modelers and things and how they'll replace you, you know, they'll replace your big amps. The, the, they never quite delivered. I don't think they ever quite delivered the way that they do now. The technology is kind of caught up to the idea, yeah. and the line is so blurred between these traditional amplifiers and and the emulation that yeah. go for it, hook yeah. in, you know. So. Um, I, look, I'm seriously, I'm seriously considering this because it's like my pedal board now. I've condensed it down to like this big, and I've got a few pedals and a wah and stuff on it. I can condense it down even further to like a nano. What's next? What's next? An RFID chip with all of my sounds in their preset, you know? Having, having your whole effects board just in your glove compartment of your car, just like just <laughs> remote access from home on an app, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So um, look, it, it's you know, it, this is. Truly, a, a fantastic product that we are really, really excited about. We're expecting stock in the next sort of week or so. I think our, our first orders will be coming in. My suggestion is get your back order in. Um, get in touch with us. www. Oh, sorry, sales at bettermusic.com.au. Give us a call in store. Come and see us. Whatever you got to do, come and do it because this thing is. It's look. I, I dare I say the word revolutionary, but I, I think. I think evolutionary is probably mm, the word. I'm, I think evolutionary yeah. is a better word. Um, it, it's going to change. It, it, this will change everything. I'm I'm stoked with it. Again, thanks to Yamaha Australia. Thanks to Tom. Hello. <laughs> and uh, thanks to Tompa. No worries. I'm Bob. Have a good day. 